Good afternoon. I'm Daniel Miller, and this is Destiny Academy. A warm welcome to all of our friends, fans, community members, participants and everyone watching us on a variety of different platforms. Thank you for joining us and thank you for being our very supportive community members. Thank you for everyone who uh, listened to my uh, podcast earlier today dedicated to our daily news. And I talked about uh, some interesting things which are happening in the wider gaming community, one of which is uh, the uh, new Xbox showcase event, the one that's been advertised and announced yesterday. It will be taking place on the 9th of June, and the other being the launch of Pantheon here in Destiny 2, uh, the game that we admire, adore, and play very frequently. I wouldn't say every single day for myself, but uh, uh, very frequently of late. Previously, we were doing it every single day, and uh, very excited about all that is to follow. So thank you to everyone who uh, contributed, who are uh, gave us some likes, went to Twitter, uh, and uh, uh, who was watching also some of it on the VOD, in addition to the live broadcast. So thank you for that. Uh, always greatly appreciated. Always great to see some of our old community members and veterans uh, who are always keen to come back and uh, participate here live on air. We had Tom, we had Playmore, we had Sekou Pupu, uh, we had Zenith. Thank you guys for joining forces with us so frequently. And uh, as you know, just a very brief rundown uh, for everyone who's just joining us now on different platforms and perhaps a, a selection of newbies, people who were not here with us before. Uh, just to let you know that the channel has been reworked somewhat. We have a different uh, structure and concept. And I stream now not just from my consoles, PS5 and uh, Xbox Series S, but also from my PC. And I have several podcasts which are uh, created and launched from my laptop. And uh, two of them are dedicated to sort of everyday activities uh, and everything that's happening in both our gaming community as well as in the industry. And that comes in a section of GD news bulletins. Uh, I've had already one today. Then there is our regular podcast and podcast really combines uh, themes and subjects which are being talked about during my game streams and then sometimes also uh, is connected to uh, the Destiny community or I should say Wars and Apex community or anyone who really belongs to that community is here and their membership and their activities both live online and elsewhere. So that is what we do. That's a new concept. And the third lot is what we're doing at the moment, which is right now, and that is doing live online gaming, something we've been doing already for six years on the trot, pleased to say, with some breaks. The recent break was a lengthy one due to my father's illness and the fact that I was very involved with his uh, primary care and everything that was more than necessary in order to maintain his health. In addition to that, I developed severe sciatica and I was uh, immobile for quite some time uh, due to the stress and uh, uh, all the uh, I guess uh, lack of sleep and the nights where I had to be providing <clears throat> primary care uh, without being able to uh, rest properly. So um, it's been quite a, quite an unpleasant mixture of events that were unplanned for. And everyone who's been with us for a long while uh, would have recognized that uh, last summer we tested uh, charitable fundraising here on the channel and uh, that itself has been very successful. We had a very successful campaign for uh, a bunch of foundation. We raised more than one million dollars for uh, St. Jude Hospital. This was done through joint activity uh, of all Destiny gamers and streamers worldwide. I was able to raise my contribution of one hundred dollars and thanks to everyone from our community who contributed, donated and participated. So really the idea was to start with a new season of streams from October but unfortunately I was prevented from doing that due to the events I just described, my father's illness and my failing health. And uh, therefore everything was left on the back burner. And uh, uh, what I have been able to do 
really in the meantime was to analyze the ways to which we can be continuing to do fundraising perhaps more successfully in order to attract more interest across the board from various platforms and various other industries and that's exactly what i will be doing from this week on firstly <clears throat> i want to say thank you a very big thank you to everyone <clears throat> excuse me uh, my voice is certainly going uh, a bit, very big thank you to everyone who had supported twitter postings and the videos that uh, would have come out in the course of this week uh, if you are a newbie, if you're just joining the channel or you've not been here before, just make sure you join our Twitter. Twitter gives you everything, and that is uh, uh, the latest news together with our community activity, with my own gaming, uh, screenshots and clips from what I do elsewhere when I'm not live on there, and that's various games on, primarily on uh, PlayStation and Xbox. Uh, then various announcements, cancellations, uh, anything related to the channel or anything we do here. Uh, everything basically in the nutshell so make sure you basically follow my twitter twitter which is uh, Dalia, daniel miller gam so it's not gaming uh, the uh, the actual name of the channel is too long for what twitter allows so it's daniel miller gam right so just go go to twitter enter at daniel miller gam and then you can just follow and get all the news so thank you from the bottom of the heart to everyone who had been listening to what's been said in those podcasts a very successful one i have to say dedicated to the creation of destiny yesterday i had a couple of uh, messages emails that would come in the meantime few people watched on twitch uh, through playback they're asking questions about uh, uh, the original game and the way the game is going to be integrated and migrated in due course to the sequel so uh, i talk about i'll talk about that in depth uh, in my next podcast, which perhaps will not be launched today due to time constraints, but tomorrow as I'm progressing with part two of the way Destiny was created and we'll be looking at the development aspects of both Destiny 1 and 2 and as to why this game had retained the status that we've known already for quite some time as being one of the best revolutionary games in terms of the new standards that have been set up for multiplayer for community activity and everything else so that is basically what we'll do there in the podcast but these sessions and that is really on request from several of our community members are going to be dedicated specifically and mainly to uh, gameplay live online and then also the charitable fundraising so just to put in perspective we had raised uh, that revenue for St. Jude Hospital in the US last year through Bungie Foundation and my charity, the charity I'm supporting at the moment, is based in the UK and it's a charity that provides services for people with mental health issues, anyone experiencing um, emotional pressure, psychological difficulty, any other difficulty which requires professional assistance can go to mind and will receive professional help that will give you counselling sessions or advice on the practical level uh, or anything else that you need in your life. So free of charge, charitable, uh, based in many different parts of the country. Most towns and cities will have their branch and you can basically call them and uh, subscribe uh, to uh, the newsletters which will come out on uh, through the website or you can make an appointment and then you will be seen by one of the counsellors uh, the counsellors that provide are a mixture of um, mental health professionals and volunteers. And everyone could join mind. Uh, we'll have a good induction and training before being in position to deliver services for those who need it the most. So coming back to it, uh, I have known of the charity for several decades and I have been liaising and working alongside them whilst I work in various clinics and residential settings. So I can just highly recommend the services to everyone. And I believe that at the moment, due to the way things are today in Britain, uh, I can't really speak for other people in other countries. There are lots of people who require such assistance due to stresses, pressures, um, the failing living standards, and everything else that we're experiencing from day to day, inclusive of some very serious incidents that we have seen in recent weeks taking place in our cities. So uh, it's a charity that helps everyone and they don't ask for anything, you know, so running a charitable campaign is something that hopefully will be providing donations and revenue for the people who need that the most, people who are the most vulnerable in our communities. And I absolutely want to make sure that we raise as much revenue as possible in the course of this campaign compared to the last one, which was just a test, sort of a, a beta test for fundraising on a channel and that we basically uh, manage to support both the charity and very vulnerable people who live in our communities. Uh, I want to say also that we had always been supporting the most vulnerable people in our community here 
and I'm proud and pleased and delighted to say that very many of our gamers who have been here live on air or participated in various forums run by myself indeed come from that community. So we'll just carry on with exactly the same thing but uh, within a somewhat different, more focused, more structured format. And I think that's the task, that's the creed. Uh, I think what's very essential and fundamentally important is for the issues related to mental health to be uh, presented factually and scientifically and uh, um, to avoid being entangled with any kind of sensationalist news, which frequently feature in tabloids and newspapers, become aware of the fact that everyone uh, can become seriously ill under certain circumstances and everyone and everybody can be then experiencing need for that degree of assistance and help. Uh, that is the approach. That is the way one everybody should be thinking and uh, considering that you may have a relative, a friend or a loved one who's suffering from some form of mental health problem, well, you will know full well how difficult that is for you, for that person, for everyone in the family, for friends, and uh, you will want to be assisted and helped and supported. So that's what we are going to be doing here. And certainly the donations, if you provide them to Tiltify and the links which are already posted here on the channel, will give you that easy access. You can first of all go to the link which is there on the chat and on our panels if you go to about page and uh, you click on the link, you will get information on Tiltify and Mind and everything else. In addition to that, you can watch these three. You can watch this stream through uh, the page because you will be saving on the bandwidth. It doesn't really burn up as much uh, bandwidth as uh, the Twitch app. And you can get all the information, both on uh, myself as a fundraiser, the channel, uh, the charity we're supporting, and Tiltify. So just get involved. Make sure that you step in and, you know, you you become a valid, valued member of our community who is also helping for those broken lives to be rebuilt and saved. Remember that, click on that link, get some information and donate. All right, so um, what are we going to be doing today? Well, if you were listening to my news, you would have seen and heard uh, the guide to Pantheon, a brand new activity uh, that has been launched yesterday. Uh, through Destiny and Bungie Service, and it's the activity when you are chasing and attempting to destroy the raid bosses. So very difficult, as you can imagine, uh, an activity that needs to be done together with others, and uh, a team of six is required. So I asked a few of our community members to step in to give us a helping hand and perhaps to um, participate. We'll see whether Sukapupu is out there, whether he can join us. Uh, we talked about it earlier today, our Zenith. But I've not seen um, any responses as yet. I think it's probably either busy or away. And uh, anybody else really from our community who wants to come in uh, certainly can. And uh, we are then going to be squatting up in order to try it. I have given you some indication in my uh, podcast on what god rolls you can have on certain weapons and what type of gear may be ideal for uh, all of that. And uh, we are going to be uh, revisiting that in the course of uh, this session. I just have to get the information up and running. Bear with me uh, on my secondary display so I can be telling you as we go on. Um, and uh, uh, one second, please. I can see Sekapoop is ready. And I think he probably will be quite keen to come in. So uh, bear with me. Just want to respond to Sekapoop. How are you doing? Good to see you and thank you for uh, sending us a message on Discord. Again, if you want to become an active member of our community, join our Discord and join our um, Twitter. And then you'll be able to basically squad up at any time 24-7 with anybody who is in our community. Uh, Discord I've not used much, but we'll be um, pushing it forward more and more here on the channel. As I think uh, that this is... Um, a brand, well, it's, it's, it's a recent platform that is making it possible for many people who own separate platforms, PCs and uh, Switch and uh, consoles included, to communicate and for their comms to be recorded and to be streamed through PCs. And so very, very useful as well as providing with a wealth of information and direct contact to many people who are involved in several communities. So I've not used it much, but I will be definitely beefing up on the content, on the contacts, and everything else associated with Discord. Okay, so what I want to say is, I need to dig up this uh, this article. Ah, I've got it already, so that's cool. Uh, it's uh, the article that I referred to, uh, written by the gamer team, 
and they already had played everything, obviously given the codes and the details through Bungie and early access. And uh, they provided us with a very good rundown on everything that is Pantheon related. And that includes what you need to do in order to start, uh, what weapons you need to have, what armor, what bosses you'll need, etc., etc. So actually it is very, very thorough. And uh, I found it very difficult to remember. Most of those are uh, words of wisdom, which were going our way. And therefore I will be resorting to the written material. And if Seko Pupu is there, Please say hello, so I know that you're there, and uh, we'll try to apply some of the principles in order to get the very best results. Right. So coming back to what I said earlier, support our charities, support Mind UK, Mind Charity, uh, through donating uh, via Totify and the links which already have uh, there on the channel fully displayed. Make sure you donate as generously as possible, uh, as the revenue will be greatly appreciated by those people who are most vulnerable in our community. So make sure you contribute. And uh, as I said, uh, I guess significantly different to my streams in the past, we'll have a lot more of the online gaming activity and uh, there is the need. We'll chat and talk and debate things, but otherwise that discussion, which is community based, is being migrated to my podcast and to my news. And that is the space where we can really be cracking on with discussion. Uh, I, I realized that lots of people who watch the channel and that was after receiving some feedback, I'm always waiting and waiting for our gameplay to start. And uh, uh, some were not that keen on waiting for too long, right? So we have separate sections now on the channel and through the channel in order to deliver the content which is most applicable or I should say mostly directed to the correct audience. So people, if they want to have debates and look at what's happening with Xbox and you know, showcase events like ID of Xbox or the one that's coming up in June, uh, they can go to the um, to the podcast section. So it's the news bulletin as well as my GD podcast. And then we can crack on there. In here, we'll just be really looking at the ins and outs of active participation in an online game. In this instance, this will be Destiny. But you will know from the channel, we played also Mass Effect. We played uh, uh, Warzone and Apex extensively at certain times. And these all communities that immediately come back as soon as they start streaming. Everybody wants to join forces and come in. We'll have to be trying to stream Destiny 2 a bit more compared to the past. Uh, the biggest number of participants here have been linked to Destiny 1. And uh, there's a reason for that. Destiny 1 is still uh, 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 the more popular game compared to uh, if you were comparing the two. And uh, everybody enjoys revisiting and doing certain activities in the original game. But Destiny 2 provides a multitude of different types of uh, quests and uh, uh, all the things that we can do together with others. So it's very important for us to be engaging with um, other fire teams, other participants, other community members, everyone who's been in the Destiny community for a long while. And uh, it is critical that we base everything we do here on uh, an orchestrated, well-coordinated team effort. So not doing it just by ourselves, i.e. like a single player, but doing it together with others. Maybe a bit difficult to attract many people initially because our community was based on Destiny 1 gameplay, but you know, I'll persevere and sometimes maybe I'll combine the two games together in order to keep everyone sweet. Um, and today, as I said, hopefully we'll be trying out the whole of the Pantheon, but that depends on how many participants I'll be able to bring in. So without further ado, my friends, just remember, donate to the charity. The link is up there. You can watch the stream for Tiltify. You click on the link, the stream will pop up, and then you've got all the information there as well. It's very, very cool. If you donate, if you help us to reach certain targets, we'll have competitions, we have quizzes, we'll have milestones, and then specifically designed community activities because we reached the milestone. And all of them are linked with raids, nightfalls, and the pinnacle sections of this game. So the sooner we reach the target, the better it will be for people to watch uh, those activities here on the channel. All right, so let's have a look what's there in stock for us. So we'll crack on with a hunter. It's been a very uh, uh, busy day as well as this week. Uh, I uh, had, you know, had to be adjusting to uh, the new system and the biggest headache is the tech. I have so many different things connected now and it'll take me a couple of weeks before I am fully in control. So if I make any major mistakes, any mishaps, or say something funny, 
please bear with me because my attention literally has got to be scattered uh, around and uh, divided into very different sections of what is really involved with the technical side of the stream. But so far, so good. Very happy. I've got to say, very happy with the receipt, um, the way the uh, uh, the uh, um, the news and podcasts have been received. The vast majority of viewers and listeners came to Twitter and YouTube, and they've watched it on playback, so they did not watch the streams live. But you'll take a bit of time, you know, for them. Most of those people are not members of our community; they've just seen it on Twitter and they came in, had a look, and but I had some messages from people who I've never had contact before so that's very good also the other thing i want to tell you is i will be teaming up with some other streamers and we'll have some live on air interviews in podcasts with other successful streamers and and people who are trying out you know uh, for the first time and those who are kind of progressing their way up in the community uh it will be very interactive so i think i want to make this the channel as interactive as possible with everybody who's here uh, even more so than before and less centered on specific topics destiny linked and uh, maybe our kind of internal community discussions all right so let's just crack on let's see who is there i'm curious to see do we have any people in there who can join us um let me see what is happening ah sicker poop was there call sicker poop right into fire team and then we'll invite our friend shinobi who was uh, doing the game with me the other day um right to fire team so let's just wait for the boys let's see whether they will come in and join us and if so we are definitely going to be cracking on with some severity so it's the kapupu and shinobi i invited let us see if they Sekapupu says, I'm in Iron Banner at the moment. So we'll just wait for Sekapupu to finish. And let me see our friend Shinobi, what he's doing. Shinobi was doing Destiny 1 the other day with me. Yeah. Online playing Destiny. Invited him to a fire team. Okay. So we'll just wait for a little while. But whilst we're waiting, we can do some admin. We can do what's necessary so let's see what i need to do in the helm uh not exactly sure oh yeah i know it's that exotic quest which is still waiting for me there all right um yeah we'll do some admin first then we'll go to the hall of heroes if you listen to the podcast earlier today you know that uh, uh the hall of heroes is the new social space uh, at which you uh, talk to Lord Shax, who is giving you the quests and tasks linked to um, Into the Light event, the event that will be together with Pantheon Run until the 4th of June. And uh, if you're wondering why is that, why is everything going to be ending on the 4th of June? Well, the answer is very simple. We have the release of um, our brand new DLC, which have been eagerly waited for quite a few months and uh, we want to see the uh, oh look at that that's really cool edge transit i picked that one up before i don't want it else is rifle the recluse it's all kind of weapons which are seasonal forgotten vortex i don't want ah Crux termination, I don't have, so we lock that one. The recluse, last foray, 1806, 1800, okay, I want that. I'm very brutal nowadays with the inventory, you know, I don't want to have anything that's of no use to me because otherwise I'm stocking up uh, the inventory there uh, in the vault and it's just a major headache. All right, that's very useful. So what else do we have in here? Some engrams, collect engram cloak boots and all of them are completely useless well let's let's see last foray we don't want at all you know some people prefer to collect literally everything but don't remember you can repurchase the items which you unlocked and then discarded so that's quite easy the only thing is with some of the weapons that will not be of the same power nevertheless you can 
level them up and infuse and you know, some of those I think you can do also some um, crafting and uh, look at that let's store this let's store this one sling a site I quite like the one I've got at the moment um, actually I'll pick up that um, rocket launcher we'll try it curious to see what it's like let's see immediately what it's like hey that rocket launcher we got to that crux termination all right confined launch greatly increasing stability increasing blast radius blah 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 uh that will keep that one the second one is decreasing blast radius i think for me on all the rocket launchers what's most important is having the blast radius to be as great as possible helps the team and everyone else is participating okay so let me see what else we got here uh, impact casing increasing stability implosion rounds increasing projectile speed increasing stability decreasing yeah that's better like clan cartridge Throw this weapon randomly and then bipod increasing rocket launch ammunition that's useful wild card final blows with this weapon have a chance to create experimental sub munitions at the target's location kill tracker crucible tracker we'll keep the kill tracker all right so i usually enable this mod which is major specs where is it now boss specs major specs that one useful when you're tackling various powerful enemies and then handling I'm uh, not, not really up to scratch with enhancement course, so just give that to... No, actually. Let me see. That. Seven. Yeah, I've got to be short on the last bit to masterwork it. You know, every single time it's the same story. Never mind. Appearance. Uh, let's see. Cosmetics. I kind of like this so I'll put this one on a bit of a change dragon's breaths there uh, let's just use this uh, crux termination let's try it you've seen well if you if you listen to uh, my introduction in pantheon a very good rocket launcher is more than required uh, we can obviously swap it for dragon's breath if things go wrong doesn't really matter Dragon's Breath is awesome. I don't have uh, the catalyst in there. I like the design of this weapon as well. It's really cool. So, good stuff. Just remember, I need to change the chat settings on PlayStation. It's difficult to see if it's in the top right corner. Sekapupu joined me. Hello, Sekapupu. Can you hear me? Sekapupu can probably hear me uh, through the stream, but. Um, I'm on PlayStation and Sekapupu is uh, on um, the PC. So we need to establish the comms. Just tell me whether you can hear me. Uh, Sekapupu says, I can hear your in game mic. Okay. Do you want to talk? Because I need to hear you. Is there any way to which we can connect? Because you're on, on the PC and uh, I'm on the PlayStation. Is there a way to which we can enable the comms? Because obviously Discord would be uh, a solution, but I can't do Discord in here because it will not be recorded live on there. You know? Discord is like a separate thing. They're not allowing it to be recorded live on there. Uh, on the consoles, that is. It's different if one's doing it on a PC. So let's see. Let's see. Let's just finish this admin a bit. And. Uh, Alright, so this, this was my gear. Actually, I was testing a uh, submachine gun and hand cannon. I've got to say that one of the best weapons in this game is Crimson. It's terrific for any activity. Uh, a rapid hand cannon and uh, massive big impact, uh, uh, big magazine, uh, little recoil, uh, 4 15 rounds per minute. Highly recommend it to everyone. If you're not using it, definitely make sure you get it. And I've been using it a lot 
Uh, I quite like uh, Rapacious Appetite as well. Uh, it's quite deadly. And where's my other hand cannon? There. Must have worked. Targeted Redaction. Very powerful if you want to be tackling some of the enemies. Uh, perhaps not the bosses, but adds. And also, you will remember that uh, Glaive had been massively, massively enhanced once uh, the last expansion was launched. And um, they sort of turned it down a bit. It's not as powerful as it was, particularly on the melee and on the long range shots, but still a very, very good weapon if you want to tackle a variety of different enemies. So, okay, Sekapupu, so, is there a way to which I can get you on, on, on the, um, the game chat? We need to find out the way to which we can talk live, live on air. Because I know you are on your PC, but I've got to be able to get the comms going. The question is, what do we do? Does anyone know? The vault. Yeah, I have plenty of space. I'm going to bother clear this up at the other time. Right, where's Sekapupu? Sekapupu, you're here. Oh, there you are. Look at Savior. I go there. Where are you? Oh, we've got something to do in here as well. Okay, that's seasonal. Not done it, really. Radio. This isn't the hey, radio. Amaru. Amaru. I heard you ain't enjoying the Vanguard's hospitality. Stuck in this bush league tower with all these nice, nice ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Sounds like someone's got a chip on their shell. I'd be bitter too if I got turned into a moth monster's leverage. Seems like a bum deal. I kept the loosened hive in line for years while she tried out in the Vanguard's vault. Feeling a little disrespected? Please. I had my orders. I made sure that wannabe hive kept up her end of the bargain. Mm, that you did. All think you have the upper hand, but I know Sabathun has a plan, and I'm here to make sure it follows through. Mm -hmm. And I wait. Why are you talking to me? No one else wants to. Can't imagine why. <laughs> you wouldn't understand. You guardians all prance around with your ghosts like they're your best friends. No dignity. No professionalism. <laughs> you think so? Maybe someday I'll, uh, introduce you to mine. Well, it looks like I completed all the radio messages, and I'll have a look at, uh, hologram in here, see what we've got there. No items, so that's all been finished, part of the seasons. Need to find our friend Sekapupu. Where are you, Sekapupu? I can't find you. Where are you? Oh, there you are. All right, cool. I've just heard from Shinobi. He is doing some stuff and you'll join us shortly. I've sent him an invite. And Sekapupu says the Discord is the only way. Really? Mm. Let me try that. Let me see. Uh, well, it's going to take a bit of time. I mean, we need the comms for Pantheon, you know. We need the comms to, to talk. Uh, and uh, you said that PlayStation doesn't support other waves. Just double check to see whether. Discord will be recorded for PlayStation streams. Just bear with me. I don't know if that's the case. We'll just click. We'll, we'll you know, we'll, we'll um, integrate it. Um,
I apologize for this, but uh, I want to really find out whether there is um, a way to which Sukapupa and me can be talking and uh, through the use of Discord. Just bear with me. I, I've, um, my PlayStation 5 is new and I've not been using Discord on it, so I need to see whether Discord voice chat audio is not recorded on PS5 consoles, captures and broadcasts, so it's not possible. It's the same problem like we would have had with Xbox, and uh, that is annoying. Uh, so the question on Reddit, let's see if they find a way to which they can crack. Um, yeah. Basically, it's not possible, which is dreadful. Uh, it means that uh, any form of uh, comms, if we were to be doing them on Discord, could not be either heard or recorded. And that is not what we want to see here. Don't know why this is not working on the games chat, you know? Why, why does that come here? Maybe maybe you've got to... Um, does anyone else know in the community? If you guys know, just, just tell us. I think you probably need to unblock your privacy settings or so, because I know that I did get previously on PlayStation uh, people who were uh, coming on different platforms, you know, like in Warzone um, and Destiny, and uh, we were able to talk to the game chat. So is there any way to which uh, we can be enabling this for you to be heard? Anybody knows? If you do know, bring us a message. Otherwise, we don't want to keep you in suspense. We'll, we'll crack on with some activity. Sakavu was very good in typing fast and uh, um, um, way behind when it comes to that. But this is what our community is all about, right? Okay, does anybody else know? Or is it just me? Uh, Shinobi says that when you have a few more people, I'll join. Yeah, we we have two at the moment. You'll be the third person. We'll try to get somebody for, for for that uh, on um, fire team um, finder. You know, we'll see. Okay. Bear with me. I'm still I'm still really trying to uh, master everything that I need to be doing at once, but. Uh, <clears throat> Sekapupu says, uh, what will you be doing? Well, I thought we'd do uh, Pantheon today. We've tried Pantheon, we just need a couple of, you know, a few more people to come in. Shall we do that? Shall we go to uh, uh, the Hall of Heroes? What do you think? Because obviously we need more people for Pantheon. Anyway, I want to go to Hall of, Hall of Heroes. So, um, I can hear. I can hear. Push to talk. Oh, that's a different. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I, I have I have heard from everyone uh, who played it since last night, and uh, uh, I was giving the introduction uh, on all that Pantheon will be giving us, and I could see from the god rolls and ins and outs of the bosses that it was going to be devilishly difficult. But uh, it's good fun, and it's rotating, so every week we are getting like the new slot, and we can be playing as many times as possible. I guess it's less good for people who want to do it competitively because they will want to have the best score, get the platinum level. Um, that's not going to be the case for me, I don't think, but we'll do it for fun. And let me just quickly see if anybody else is out there. We have... Yeah, Shinobi said he was going to join us. Um, he's got my invitation, so I'll just leave it in there. Sand Peach is in there and uh, Lubrier as well. So we can probably invite them. I think we'll first of all go to um, the um, Hall of Heroes. I need to pick up the quest. So just give us that. Um, there we are. That is 
into the light you go to so just a bit of a walk through for other people who are watching and uh, uh, we have the pantheon quest progress required before then we need to go to it's a hall of heroes it's hall of champions the one i'm saying yeah you know, recently I, I kept saying vampire chases and it's vampire survivors i don't know why i get muddled up with uh, the wrong title but yeah too many facts and figures and uh brain gets garbled so i apologize you'll, you'll find that to be frequently the case with me i get things somewhat a bit wrong but that's all part and parcel of the fun that we are having and i can see there's a few people watching it's quite good uh we did have a few people coming in through twitter uh, who were not our community members yesterday and um the other time when i was streaming i was really soothing really great to see as i want to really integrate all those platforms into one and I want our community to be rapidly growing as well, in addition to our 500 leg regulars. <clears throat> there we are. Okay. So, Sakapoop so already picked up that quest, I think. Or maybe not. Aha! You were waiting for it, of course. I want to do that too, but then yesterday I was caught up with my podcast and then. Oh, you had a team for you. Oh, well, you know, it's usually people are waiting for that final minute and then they come in. They want to try it first, so to speak. Right, so I'll re decide for all of our viewers and listeners. Um, as we're doing this for the first time, well, I am, so I did it. Uh, Divine Weaponry. So, Shaq's notes to you. Good to see you in fighting trim. That's just what we need. The witness's power grows daily. Strengthening our greatest enemies to stand against them, we must grow stronger ourselves. I'm sending you out to uh, uh, to run a gauntlet of the worst the witness has to throw at us. So that's very difficult bosses. All foes with new tricks you'll need steadfast allies to defeat. He firms his stance on his platform. I'll be monitoring your progress myself, and I'll reward you with success handsomely. Arcsight will uh, is it Arcsight or is it Arkite? Uh, our kite will be waiting at the finish line with your prize. So we always need to meet with him at the end. Shax claps a broad hand on your shoulder and lowers his helmet to face you. Get out there, Guardian. The Pantheon awaits. So look at this. You have this quest. Golgoroth encounter completed. The Caretaker defeated. Microcosm encounter completed. Atrax one defeated. And then you get... Uh, the exotic selection. All right, so I'm picking this up. Bounties, uh, onslaught, waves Help cleared. Spy looter, open a, witch, uh, a witch's chest in cellar to inspire using the witch key. With that. uh, that's really not what I'll need at the moment, I don't think. Never mind, we'll just pick this up in any case. And what's this? Uh, Brave Engram. Elsie's rifle. I got Elsie's rifle already, so not bothered really. All battles are just Gone to the vault. Time. Okay. Play second people. There's two of us together. Ready. Good weapons in those caches, eh? Trophies of bravery required. Yeah. And loads of them as well. So I can just level up and collect different things at What's different times. Um, so, do we do Onslaught first? Or do we go to Pantheon straight away? What do you reckon? Let's see if our friend Shinobi wants to come in. He said he would come in. Um, okay, before we bring him in, maybe we we can have a look at Onslaught. Let's see. Uh, quest. Divine Weaponry. So it's completing Pantheon on any difficulty. What difficulty level did you try, Sekapupu? The hardest, probably. What difficulty level have you tried yesterday? Damage reports are coming in across the system. My red oh, I see they'll be increasing them week after week because it said more difficulties would unlock over time. Yeah, so it's just the basic level, which is also quite difficult, I guess. Um, okay, so let's have a look. No, I, 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 I. 
well, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm completely um, green to anything to do with uh, raids here or with um, the uh, uh, the new activity pantheon. So, you know, it's just a question of trying it and finding out and being helped by other people. We'll need to double check. Crucible needs me, Guardian. Are you ready to deploy? Given time, uh, darkness will encroach again. We have to be ready. Yeah. Uh, so tell me, what is it that I need to be enabling or getting? What is it called? Is that... And that is uh, attached to your power level, is it? One of, one of the uh, perks. Is, what is it? No, what you said I need to do. It has to. I make sure of it. Okay, so just tell me... Just repeat what you have said. I need something in order to get... Um, regular revives, right? Entire crucible to appreciate yeah. Guardian. Don't make me wait. Mm -hmm. Oh, so it looks like lots of wipes. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Yeah. So, um, what do you suggest we do then? Ah, I've got to try it, because I did say uh, on podcasts and that. Huh? Just try it. Yeah. Yeah. The world is burning. We need you out there. Um, what about Onslaught? Shall we try that first? Victory smells nice, Guardian. Let's try Red Onslaught Legion first. Curious. Because there was a link between Onslaught and Pantheon somewhere. I cannot remember what it was. I remember that uh, in the guide, which I was uh, investigating, exploring yesterday, uh, there was uh, some sort of link between the two, but I'm not, I can't remember what it was. Anyway, let's try it. Oh, I see. So, no, 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 there was something else. It wasn't just that they're part of the same event. There was something else, but I'm not sure what. Um, so we have Midtown. And then we have Mothyards, Vostok, um, Legend, Midtown, Mothyards. Which one would you prefer? Because we have six of these to choose from. Which one shall we take? The first one, Midtown or Mothyards? Yeah, we do. Uh, say if you can just type, uh, uh, ask that Sand Peach about this. Tell him that he can come in. But just tell him that he needs to be uh, um, aware of the stream and um, he needs to be careful with what he says live on air because of the rules and the channel and all this. I'll tell him when he comes in. We can bring him in, Sand Peach. Yeah, that's true, that's true. What can I do? Okay, we'll go to orbit. So we'll send in a message saying yes. Uh, open director and then sand beach. Right fire team and Shimavi send and then Sand Peach uh, Lubre. I don't know whether right him as well. We'll just wait and see whether 
that'd be five people that all come in. Sandpitch joined us. Uh, if you are um, watching us on Twitch or if you are um, hearing some of the things that we've been saying, I just need to remind Sandpitch that this is a family friendly channel and we are doing charitable fundraising for Mind Charity in Britain. So we have to be very careful with what we say live online if we are using our audio comms. Um, we need to be amicable, family friendly and polite. I have moderators that are monitoring the activity and, you know, all of that is uh, definitely in place. So everyone else needs to know that it's both the live stream, it's charitable fundraiser, as well as a channel to which we kind of connect and play games. Um, and uh, um, I need to say that to everyone just in case, because the moderators are quite brutal and I really don't want anyone to experience any unpleasantries or anything which is, you know, not particularly nice. Um, I have some people who are moderating the content on my channel. It's a third party and uh, I will not be able to disclose the details publicly online. The overall content which is on the channel. So, you know, they, they have uh, um, the overall responsibility if I'm not myself uh, um, reacting to certain things to filter out the content and everything else just to make sure that everything is in order as it's a charitable fundraiser and it's linked to charities and you know amicable family friendly activity that's that's the main thing you will know that sometimes it did Apex and Warzone people would come in who were um, you know saying things which are not really appropriate and then there were there were some issues afterwards and uh, some people like our good friend Sonny he said well I you know don't want to participate live on streams because I like shouting and I like doing this and that um, and that's not applicable I don't want to really affect the streams uh, in any way and uh, it was a very noble very uh, uh, you know reasonable decision to take so all right so we have three people in here uh, we still yeah we'll go to uh, onslaught then and try that um, We'll go to Midtown and try that. Well, I'm quite excited. I've not tried some of these activities. They're all fairly new and uh, should be plenty of entertainment for our viewers. Even if I get killed, uh, I'll be giving you other players' POV. So I'll see how they're eliminating all the bosses and ads, which is always good fun. I like that... Uh, Pyramid spaceship. That's pretty good. Minus. Oh, I see. Poetry in destruction. Write me some poetry. Do it. No, I have not. I've just gone down the very basic route. Uh, I've not been entitled to anything, no. There are some enemies out there. That's good. Oh, look at him.
Oh, we are rocking in there. Watch out for these exploding throws. No oh, good. Impressive guardian. You have an instinct for battle. Oh. Coming from behind, look at him. Nearly got killed. Well, this is working quite well. Ah, not enough scraps. Have we enough scraps for? Yeah, I got for that one. Okay, just about it. Yeah, then I have money. Oh, look at this. That's pretty good. A bit of, uh, try that just for fun. Oh, look at Dress Below again now. Uh, he's already dead. Ah, he got me. I was not fast enough. There's the battery if you want it. Yeah, we're going. And make sure you're still settled. Yeah, that's going to be causing me some problems. Ammunition. Okay. But oh, sorry, my fault. Ah, oh, it's huge recoil this weapon. 
Look at him. Exit portal has appeared. Triumph completed, but that's good. Racking and rolling. Uh, nine up scraps. Uh, Five seventy two. Come on, I'm standing up. Oh, right now. Yeah. Go on. Nah. Couldn't see a thing. Hmm. Oh, loads of look at that. Just uh, back off a bit. giving it all to them. Oh. You have an instinct this rocket launch is good, you know. Quite faster so it's faster than that dragon's breath. I'm surprised. Where is that stupid ogre? There. Hmm. Well, I've been too generous with my uh, rockets, I think. He's immune. I'm no longer immune. No longer alive. <laughs> it worked both ways. Just see what I can hear myself better. The game sounds a bit loud in here. All right. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm feeling better. Oh, just one rocket. I thought it was uh, a few more. Oh, another one. Okay. Yeah, step in. Run. Put your enemies down before they do the same to you. Ah, did I lose? No, 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 I want to grapple. Jump too high. Jump too high. There you Yeah, it's a bit of... Hang on a minute. Where are you? Yeah. I bounced off. But it was okay. Oh, let's dance a bit. Let's dance a bit. Go on. I like that. I like that. Closer. Rally to the flag. Oh, look at that. Dead already. I'm in a groovy mood. Groovy. Right, boys. Hang on, I didn't really rally to the flag. No.
Yeah. What is going on? I've got ten rockets, look at that. How is this possible? So many. Just, just give us a second, I want to pick up if there's anything else to be collected. Yeah, I got some currency, so that's good. Look at that. Buh. Right, I want to take a screenshot of us three. Everyone get, get here. Like a nice screenshot of all three of us. Wait a second, poop, we've gone in. Ah, uh, no time. No, that's all right. It's no problem. We'll do it later when uh, next time we complete, we all get together and I'll take some screenshots. Uh, and uh, really easy to do on PlayStation, and it's very easy to be sharing also on other platforms. So it's really cool. We're all feeling very musical today. Look at that. But you know what? Oh, actually, this weapon set me quite well. Can't complain. Yeah, that's right. That works better. Ah, oh, I'm gonna give you this. How you got it? Yeah. Just move away a bit. Ah, oh, you got it all. You don't wanna help our friend? Come in. Ah, oh, you're alive, okay. Any more? Yeah. Well, that was a fluke. Well, so many rockets. I don't know what's going on. I don't think I ever had more than that. You know, second poop. I had like twelve rockets. That was just phenomenal. That's a good rocket launcher. Let me just make sure um, that I lock. Yeah, I did lock it. That is uh, Crux Termination. Bear with me, I have... Uh... Ah, right. Okay. I'll bring in our friend Shinobi later as well, if he wants to join us. The four of us. Ah, run out of ammunition. That's not fun. This is really hectic. You enjoying it, second people? You must be. It's really a very hectic activity. A lot to do, but really best played in a team. Otherwise, it's a nightmare. It's very difficult. Just want to remind everyone who's watching, listening, and participating on various platforms, uh, we are doing a charitable fundraiser. We are supporting Mind Charity in Britain. So if you are fully aware of what uh, the charity does, then please feel free to donate. And the link is there on my chat and also on my panels. Just click on the link, you'll get everything from Tiltify, and uh, you know, your help will be greatly appreciated. This is the charitable fundraising stream. Oh, 
wave 15. Blimey, that's pretty good. Ah, the saga already burned. Oh, it's two ogres. They're going to get me. Oh, this ogre. I blast. The last one got me. A gauge of pure combat 12. Potential. That's Make good. Well, let's just uh, obliterate the enemy, hey? Shall we not? Yeah, we need to carry on. I like using my rocket launcher. It's really powerful and nicely designed. Quite like it. Change the shade on it as well, so it looks a bit more crucible style, you know. But I'm loving it. Really good rocket launcher. A triumph in tactics. Ah. I better hurry up. Look at that. Let's just uh, take a screenshot of this. Uh, so, just stand still for a second there. J jump on that uh, um, uh, accumulator, the, the thingy. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Just go a second, go a second. Yeah, you can do it as well. Take a screenshot of, uh, yeah, one. Yeah, that's cool with the CMUD. Really cool. I come a bit closer. Yeah. Really good. Cheers. Thanks. All right. Ready. We'll share that with our community later. Oh, look at me. I'm so trigger happy in that rocket launcher. I must have done see anyone. Something's killing me. Hitting everything in my way, and that includes Saka <laughs> That's nothing to do, really. Come on, they all need to be, uh taken apart. Still more. Loads of rockets, I don't know what's going on in here. That's probably a um, geared for Pantheon, you know, the weapon. No heavy ammunition anymore. Okay. okay. Yeah, I hate him. He was in life, though, wasn't he? Yeah, now I need me rockets, but... Yeah, he's uh, taking some damage, so that's alright. Oh yeah, he's gone. Oh, good. Yeah. 
you know Sekapupu, um, Destiny um, looks so good on PlayStation 5. It really does. It's a massive enhancement. Maybe because those have Sony Bravia TV, so they're like a perfect blend. And uh, yeah. This is a gauge of pure combat potential. Make me proud. Yeah. Okay, I made it. I didn't really fall. Why did you die? Hang on, I'll revive you. Why did you die there? Well, that's uh. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> Self destruct. Alright, rally to the flag. Rockets, so are you sort of in here? Where is it? Oh, I missed him. Yeah. What? Well, that's fortunate. He's gone. I thought to myself, is that a miniature sun? Loot. But no. It was you. Raining light on your opponents. I love it. Ah. I want to purchase uh, one thousand. A bit more money, I think. Some, some. This one. Spend all my money. Lots of them, look at that. This is wave sixteen. Well, as I'm getting so many uh, rockets, you know, just it's just spamming the enemy with everything I've got. Boss got me, came from behind, didn't see him. Just 
stuck in here, look at this. Any more? Wave 23? How many waves can we have all together, you know? 50? Well, that's good. We have still way to go then. We aren't even halfway. Ah. Well done. Man, this is hectic. No, I'm sweating. No, I'm not. I'm joking. I really had a good snack before we uh, commence with the session, so I'm really happy. Just want to remind everyone that this is a charitable fundraising stream. We are supporting Mind Charity based in the UK. Anyone who's watching, please make sure you donate and. Uh, your contributions, however great or small, will be saving lives and everyone should be uh, um, fully aware of uh, what uh, the charity does. And the charity is saving lives by providing professional services for people experiencing some form of distress or psychological difficulty. Remember Sekafuku in Destiny 1, how terrible they were. They're not that difficult in uh, the sequel, although sometimes they can also come from behind, but in D1 they're a lot more difficult to eliminate. Ah, delayed! Yeah, we're all rocking with our <laughs> rocket launchers. But why not when you're getting so many rockets? It's a good idea, isn't it? Best your opponents and survive. Victory is yeah, a matter yeah. of will. We're gonna go in. Yeah. Well, onslaughts are certainly hectic. One of the best activities here. Uh, even to us with Into the Light event. I think everyone's enjoying the event. It's really a very good way to which Bungie are bringing in new people to the community. Everyone enjoying it will just be driven to purchase uh, the last DLC. Or I should say the next DLC. Final shape, that is, of course. A triumph in tactics. I couldn't remember the title earlier today, and she put myself to shame. Yeah, this enemy, this, this beast in there, was floating early on, did you not see? Slightly glitched. Purchase more, maybe, if I got my money. Why not? I've got 4k. No, it's not possible in here. Alright.
Ready? Funny, but none of us use swords in here. <laughs> that's because we were granted these lovely rocket launchers, so that's the reason why. Otherwise, we didn't store it, believe you me. You guys using finishers? Immune. Nah, I got me. Too close to the witch. Ah! Boo! Wave 29! Oh, well, we are doing well. Come on, burning procedures. No, I haven't got any more anything. Nah, it's not very good. Okay. Rest your opponents and survive. Victory is a matter of will. Just a second. We need to go in. That's it. I can't believe what I've done now. Ah. Uh... That puts me to shame too. Boo. No, it's my fault. Yeah, yeah, just engage the enemy. Don't wait for me. Cool. There we are. I slipped. Right, let's dance to the underground a bit in here. And then I'll take some screenshots. Maybe make a clip as well. Let me just take a clip, actually. We come here. Hang on. Better position. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Um, yeah, that's better. So, how do I do that? Clip. No, oh, that's not it. Yeah, recording like a 10 second clip and dance a bit as well. Yeah, that's the idea. Cool, got it. Yeah, 16 seconds. That'd be good for TikTok and for anything. I want to take a screenshot of this. Hang on, that's really cool. That's really good. Another brief recording. Sing and our chums are roasting. Isn't that cool? 